There are a few key things I think every guy should have in the wardrobe for suiting wise. I think single breasted, single button jacket, peak or notch lapel in a plain or a check fabric is always great. Double breasted suits for blazer options. Velvet for the winter as a plain jacket, denim shirt, black knitted tie. A couple of separate options as well, so different textures, different fabrics with single and double breasted for more sort of informal sort of suiting blazer looks. So four or five and I think you'll be there. Opting towards single breasted or double breasted. For me, double breasted is a really good blazer look. I think it's a good optional piece to have in your wardrobe. It's a bit of a go-to piece for, for me as well. Single breasted to me always lends itself better to a suit, particularly a two-button suit with a notch lapel. I think that's good, whether it's your first job interview or you're further down your career, it's a good solid piece to have. I would say that double breasted is slightly more suited towards autumn winter, although obviously in the summer, depending on the fabric, I'd take that into consideration as well. It's great that there's so many different options and fabrics out there and people aren't really afraid to wear it anymore. Once you've come towards the weekend, I think it's nice to be a little bit more fun. Don't wear a plain blue or a plain white shirt. Geometric patterns, always quite nice. Matching the sort of shirt to the, the colour of the suit. I think with darker colours, navies, greys, I think you can really afford to have a sort of pop of colour under those. You know, if you see the colours naturally together and they sit well, then that's kind of the sort of inspiration that I would take in terms of putting different colours together. For shoes and suits, I think that there's three real sort of main groups that you can kind of stick to as a, as a rule of thumb. Your suiting shoes really you should have a couple of black pairs and a couple of brown pairs. I'd always rest a pair of shoes after you've worn them for a day. Don't wear them repeatedly on every single day. Formal wear, so you'd have a patent for your black tie or a very high shine with some broguing on, lace-ups, really should stick to for formal wear, not a boot. So that would be those sort of two groups and then more of a casual Chelsea boot, chucker boot, suede, brogues, different sort of soles. So those three main groups really, hard and fast as a rule, you'd be pretty good to wear pretty much anything with. They're the kind of tips and pointers that you can sort of work off, express your own personality, but more importantly, have fun.